My name is Vicente Fernandez. I farm in the high desert mountains of northern New Mexico. My farm depends on the river I've known all my life, the Rio Fernando. I live in Taos, New Mexico. Our town depends on the rivers that run from the snow-capped peaks of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. The Rio Fernando is one of these rivers, a ribbon of green flowing from the meadows known as La Jara. The Rio Fernando tumbles through wide meadows and small narrow canyons through our town and out to where it meets the Rio Pueblo, a tributary of the great Rio Grande, one of the most important rivers in the nation. Unfortunately, the river I have known all my life is struggling and polluted. The water in the river is warming and the insect and fish life in the river is dying. For decades, people have dumped their trash in or near the Rio Fernando. In some places, houses have been built right on the river's edge or in the river's wetlands. The river is polluted by E. coli from cows and poorly managed septic systems. In some places, the river has been forced into narrow channels and run off from the city streets add heavy metals to the waterway. In many places, the Rio Fernando runs dry for much of the year. And it isn't just the river itself. The entire Rio Fernando watershed faces a variety of serious problems. The forests above the river are overgrown with trees and brush, increasing the chance of catastrophic wildfires that threaten our neighborhoods and headwaters. Many of the wetlands or natural water storage areas are gone or degraded. And on top of it all, many in our community are simply not aware of where the Rio Fernando is, and they do not understand the value of the river. We certainly have not treated our river with the respect it deserves. And to make matters worse, Northern New Mexico has been in the grip of an extreme drought for more than a decade. Scientists predict that the American Southwest will only get drier and warmer as the climate changes. We say here in Northern New Mexico, agua es vida, water is life. It is time to take care of our river. Realizing that fighting and arguing over the river was doing nothing to help the Rio Fernando, a diverse group of local citizens came together to look for solutions in 2016. We are farmers and ranchers, hikers, elected officials, federal agencies, environmentalists, anglers, and hunters. We formed the Rio Fernando Collaborative. We saw the potential to restore the river and its wetlands to create a space for community members to enjoy the outdoors and restore the acequia systems that water our crops and connect our communities. Cooperation has its benefits. We brought together land and water users who have very different visions. We learned from each other and created shared visions and goals. Our diverse collaboration has accomplished a lot over the past four years. We have worked with Forest Service and local ranchers to move cows away from the river and wetlands. In 2019, we constructed a mile-long metal structure to keep the cows out of the river. Working with wetland restoration professionals, we conducted a detailed assessment of challenges in the upper watershed. We identified wetland and riparian restoration projects and are in the process of completing these projects. Under the leadership of Amigos Bravos, we are conducting an extensive water quality sampling study along the river. The goal of the study is to identify the various sources of E. coli contamination along the river so that we can work with landowners and other stakeholders to solve these problems. The Taos Land Trust is protecting and restoring seven acres of wetlands along the river in the Rio Fernando Park. Taos Land Trust has also worked with private landowners along the river to place portions of their property under conservation easement to help protect the river and the surrounding land. The Taos Land Trust and the town of Taos also helped bring new life to the Vigilia Romo Acequia. The Taos Valley Acequia Association and the Lore Foundation brought money for ditch repairs, a new headgate, and worked with realtors and landowners to help them better understand Acequia culture and traditions. In the coming years, we will continue our restoration work in the Headwaters Forest, wetland habitat, and along the river's route to the Taos. We will work to improve trail access and will expand community engagement to support our sequias and revitalize working lands. The Rio Fernando watershed faces serious problems. These problems did not appear overnight. They will not be solved overnight. We envision a revitalized Rio Fernando watershed that builds on traditions and embraces innovation to connect people to nature, cleaner water, and vibrant agriculture.